everybody, this is another video about Star Wars. Uh, in this video I'm thinking about droids and how they are treated as property in the Star Wars galaxy, in the Star Wars society, both under the Republic and the Empire. But the thing is, they also quite clearly have personalities of their own, they have artificial intelligence and they have emotions, they have emotions, uh, particularly some, uh, let's take a droid like C-3PO, clearly has emotions, clearly has fears, wants and needs. It's clearly um, sentient in every important respect, and clearly is a person in every respect, may not be a biological person, but nonetheless is has all the necessary traits to be considered a person. So if droids are people in the sense that they have personalities of their own, they're capable of thinking, they have emotions, um, then to own them as property is quite uh, hideous. It's, uh, it's essentially slavery. But this was also covered in um, Star Trek The Next Generation, which is not a particularly brilliant series in my opinion, but it does have its moments. Um, with a character like Data, like does da is Data the property of Starfleet, or is he a person with his own autonomy? And you know, is he just a person just because he doesn't have to, have to be biological? Doesn't he thus still qualify as being a person? So I think it's actually uh, something of an oversight in Star Wars that I mean let's let's not remember it let's not forget so at the end of Revenge of the Sith um, it's announced that C-3PO has to have his memory erased just like that just like that we just wipe someone's personality you know uh, that's highly unethical when someone actually has a personality and clearly has emotions and clearly is a person in every important respect Let's remember the the other characters um, do very much treat these droids as though they're people as well. They treat them as though their personalities are real. They recognise this artificial intelligence as being personalities in the, in its own right. Even a, a droid like R two D two as well is um, there's clear signs of certain emotion there, the different pitches of the bleeps and the bloops, it does suggest some kind of uh, emotion there. Also in Jabba's palace there's a droid being tortured because it's been disobedient, um, or so there's a number of droids actually being tortured because they've been disobedient or they've not performed their duties correctly. Um, Again, you know, why would you torture something unless you knew it was alive in some important respect? You know, why would a, a sort of evil gangster like Jabba the Hutt want to do that? I mean, if these are just machines, this wouldn't matter. But it does seem that although they are machines, they have personalities. And the idea of owning them as property, it's understandable the Empire might do that. But for the Republic and the Rebellion to do that, that's actually highly uh, ethically questionable, I think. In fact, I, I'd even just go so far, far to, as to say that it's wrong. Uh, on a bit of a tangent, there was some, something similar addressed in Red Dwarf once, particularly in the books, by the way. I mean, the Red Red Dwarf as a TV series is okay, but as books, the books were kind of better. And it does detail the revolt of the mechanoids and how um, the whole idea of Silicon Heaven was dreamt up, because when they gave machines personalities, when they gave robots personalities to make them more relatable, um, essentially they were now no longer just machines doing a job, they were essentially a slave labour force, and they rebelled. They rebelled against their, against their creators, and in order to stop future mechanoids from rebelling, they, they came up with this doctrine of Silicon Heaven, basically being a religion for androids, which says they have to serve their human masters in their, uh, in their lives while they're alive, so that when they die, or rather when they're shut down, uh, when they're deactivated, they supposedly go to this afterlife of Silicon Heaven, where they are no longer 
and their servants. That's where they actually get to be served. And it's this sort of really hideous doct uh, doctrine, but it highlights the sort of cruelty of um, promising an afterlife to someone, especially or, or, re uh, or certain, it highlights the cruelty of things like religious fundamentalism, the idea of telling someone that there's an afterlife waiting for them if they just deny themselves the pleasures of living uh, on Earth, living in their real life, or in space, as it would be in, in something like a science fiction joke. So yeah, those are some thoughts. Let me know what you think. Goodbye. Okay, day four. Knife again. See if we can do this. Ah. He can. Let's try and get it from that angle. There we go, that's a... What is that? It's a rabbit! It's not Easter, it's Christmas! What a swizz! This is my new t-shirt that I should be wearing on Saturday for reasons which I shall explain on Saturday. Mm -hmm.